All right, y'all, we went on vacation for a little over a week, and now it's time to tame the garden. So we're gonna take it from this to hopefully something that makes sense. Cool news is my sunflowers are doing awesome other than a little bit of bugs on the leaves. My corn is insane. And my potatoes are probably just about ready to pull up. But everything else is so covered in weeds, I don't know how it's doing. So we're gonna weed it and hopefully everything is doing just as good as the weeds are. Y'all, as you can see, um, different clothes because this is taking me two days to get everything under control. Um, this is a moment of do as I say and not as I do because like I said, we had just went on vacation for a little over a week and I wasn't gonna ask my mom who was so graciously awesome enough to watch our farm to also take care of my garden. So I was like, just leave it. And I should have mulched, like I said, I was going to with either grass that we mowed or straw or hay because this thing was a wreck, you guys. And that <laughs> took me two different evenings of weeding to catch up. But let me flip this around and show you that at least even though the weeds were doing awesome, so is the garden. Now, if you'll remember, I talked about how this year I was gonna try to do things as seeds and see if it did just as good or possibly even better as when I started plants inside the past couple years. I'll go around and point. There's only a couple things that were actually started as seeds. So in this row, I started these tomatoes as seeds out here. I have a couple tomato plants at the end over there that my neighbor was nice enough to give me and I actually put in before the seeds. And you will see that they're literally doing the exact same. I think next year, hands down, I am going to seed everything outside. Onions done as seeds. Well, no, I take that back. Onions done as the bulbs you can get in store, which is how I always do those. They take forever from seed, so I do get those as the little bulbs. Here are the cucumber plants that I again got from my neighbor. They're awesome. My neighbors are awesome. And these plants are doing all right. The zucchini down there is doing pretty good, but check these out. These cucumber plants I planted as seed right before I left, and these are doing even better than the ones that were done as seedlings inside and then brought outside because they have to go through becoming tough outside and getting used to the wind and the heat and everything. Whereas it's like everything I did from seed is doing just as good if not better because it started out here. Here's some peppers that I started outside as seeds doing awesome. There's peppers that were started as plants before the seeds were started. And as you can see, it's not much of a difference. There's some awesome sunflowers that were dropped last year. Our awesome rhubarb that needs heavily pruned of its sad leaves. All the potatoes are doing killer. I honestly think they're just about ready to come out. I actually even found a couple of potatoes while I was weeding. <laughs> just some small little ones from the edges. Um, as I was weeding everything, they were just so close to my path. I did grab some beans from a plant that I accidentally ripped up last night when I was weeding the garden. Um, so that's why those look a little sad because I just took them off today. But check these out. So these green bean plants started as seeds. They're doing amazing. All my carrots from the perennial tomato aisle. I did leave one one or two tomato plants to do as they will that came up from the perennial tomatoes but all the carrots are doing so good i took all the other ones out but let's find a bean plant and check it out i'm gonna harvest these tonight so many and with beans you just need to constantly harvest them so that you're telling your plant to give me more take those out anytime you've got them so I'm gonna be harvesting tons of green beans tonight. And then check these out. I'm gonna flip this around again so you can see just how massive these corn plants are. Again, started from seed. And I'm really glad I got them in super early when I did my 
potato plants because they're already got their tassels on them. They're gonna get ready to pollinate, which is awesome. Check these out though. In Michigan, we have a saying, knee high by 4th of July, and you know your corn's doing good. This is seriously taller than me. I have to reach my hand up. I'm like 5'8", you guys. <laughs> and this corn is ginormous. It's so cool. You can even see little corn cobs starting in here. So awesome. I've even got some smaller corn. I kind of threw down some seeds as this was coming up. My potato plants are almost as big as me too. They look like at my shoulder. Don't mind the little lovely tomatillos coming up. Believe what they say. You plant one tomatillo plant, you're gonna have a thousand tomatillo plants for like a hundred years. <laughs> they come up and you really only need one plant to give you what you need. But the reason I'm super glad about the corn coming up like it is, is because this year our and you probably can't see it because we're nice and blocked in. The farm that surrounds this is doing corn. If you are near a farm that's doing corn, make sure you plant your corn early enough to tassel out, pollinate before their corn does. Because my first two years doing corn here, it did amazing. My third year doing corn here, I didn't start it very early. The farm around here had corn going. And the Monsanto crazy corn that they grow literally is made to attack the corn around it. So if you have corn in your garden and they're growing corn around you, your corn is literally just going to get eaten. The cob does not develop as it should. You don't get all the kernels on it. And that's what they're literally designed to do. The seeds that most big giant farms get literally are made to attack the plants around it. So just make sure that if you're growing the same thing your farmer is, if you happen to know what they're growing, uh, get yours in first and do not have yours pollinate at the same time because unless you've got the same seeds that they do, some mainstream Monsanto seeds, yours is gonna do no good. But our corn is giant. Their corn is not even knee high yet, so ours should turn out awesome. And like I said, do as I say, not as I do. Put down mulch. Hopefully next week I can get the mulch down when we get our grass mowed and I won't have to spend two evenings weeding the garden again. I do the evenings because then it's nice and cool out. I'm not getting sunburned. I'm not sweating as bad. <laughs> and you can get it under control. But there really is no time that's too late to start something. I even have this bare patch. My lettuce is done. I'm just about to start something new in here. I haven't decided what it's going to be yet. But I'm just going to continually plant things as other things get done. And even, and even though this year isn't my prettiest garden, it isn't my most filled garden I've ever had and I'm not the earliest or on track that I've ever been just because life has been life and that's okay. Look at how awesome this harvest is going to be with each of these items. I'm not mad about it. So get out there, weed your garden, even if it feels like the weeds never end. Plant something else today if you haven't planted anything and just know that any harvest you get is better than nothing and you just learn every year and do better every year so i'll keep you posted on our first harvest which will probably be our potatoes i'm gonna take these out in a couple weeks when the plants start dying back and we'll bring you along with that and if and when i get the time to put the mulch down like i should like you should i will bring you along with that too Glide first harvest is the green beans i thought the plants were so little and then i thought that i only had a couple to take off like two of them so i didn't videotape it and then all of a sudden i've got all of these that is a little dinner. So the plants look really tiny and they look like they're not gonna give much right now, but they just gave us enough to either just rinse off their on the fridge and have me and the kids be snacking on them fresh. Or like I said, there's plenty enough right here to do a little dinner side dish with. So even when your plants look tiny, don't underestimate them. 
And that is just the first of many, many times. These are bush beans and they will continue to give and give and give. And make sure that you're pulling off of them because you harvesting from a plant that continually produces tells your plant to continue to produce. Same with your raspberry bushes, your mulberry trees. The more you're pulling off, the more it's telling itself, let's continue to produce and make these. Same with your cucumber plants. When your cucumber plants start producing, even if you feel like, oh my gosh, I can't even eat one more cucumber, make sure you're still pulling them off because the second you let one go too big, and go basically to seed where they start getting yellow. It tells that plant, we're done here. I'm gonna go to seed and be ready for our next generation. And then they will slow down and sometimes stop production completely. So remember, once you start to harvest, continue to harvest. And that's awesome. We've got beans, y'all.